Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X-T32 and Fujifilm X-T30. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X-T32 and the Fujifilm X-T30 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 1st of September 2021 and the 14th of February 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T32. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X-T30. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T32 and the Fujifilm X-T30. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T32. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X-T30. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T32. I had to go through some hassle with shipping, but it was worth the wait. The array works as intended and is great for beginners in the Fujifilm ecosystem. I chose it over other models because of its ergonomics, buttons, and updated sensor. Be sure to watch reviews before buying. I dropped my X-T30 and got the X-T30 as a replacement. There isn't much difference. Maybe slightly faster AF. The camera is still compact and lightweight and takes great sharp pictures. The dials and buttons are easy to use and well-placed. I highly recommend it. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X-T30. I sold my Canon Rebel T3i in lenses and bought the Fuji X-T30. The image quality is great and the body and handling are good for my medium-sized hands. The lenses are well suited to the system, but I do miss the DSLR controls on the camera body. The autofocus is faster than what I'm used to, but not perfect and has a bit of a learning curve. I really love the image quality and handling of this camera, especially when paired with prime lenses. However, I found some issues worth noting. The auto mode doesn't allow for JPEG plus RAW capture. There is autofocus noise when using certain lenses. The mobile app is difficult to use, and the microphone jack and USB-C port interfere with each other. Additionally, the Q button can be easily pressed accidentally. Despite these drawbacks, I still find the camera to be a great option. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X-T32. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Fujifilm X-T30, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.